Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you one of the most important things you have to do for domain consistency as a Google Apps admin, which is set an email signature for your entire domain. If each user has their own email signature, it can look very chaotic and be terrible for your company's branding. So in order to create an email signature, what you do is from email you'll go up to the gear icon in the top right, you'll click into settings, and you'll scroll down and you'll see your email signature here. And There'll be a little editor where you can change the font. So we'll change this one to Comic Sans. We can make it bright green, things like that. But what you can't do is create an email signature that pushes out to the entire domain. So if you want a consistent signature for everyone at your organization, you can't do it from within the Gmail interface. So what you're going to have to use is a third-party tool. For this example, we're going to use Better Cloud. So we'll click over into our Better Cloud interface. We'll go up to Tools, Signatures, and then under Create a Signature, we'll click Get Started. So the beauty of the signatures that you can create in Better Cloud is not only do they push out to the entire domain, but they also push out on a schedule. And what that means is they will continue to push out every day. So if a user changes their email signature on their own, using the settings tab, then the signature pushed out by Better Cloud will overwrite what they have written. So it'll be the company signature within 24 hours again. So as you can see here, we have an editing interface similar to the one in the Gmail settings where you can type in here and you can even add your own HTML if you want to get fancy with it. And there's also a bunch of prepared templates and you can create your own templates. So I'm going to use a template right now. Let's use the basic Better Cloud signature. And I'll add an image in here. That's a guru image. So that looks pretty good. And all of these fields where it says first name, last name, title, things like that, they're dynamic fields. So no matter which users you apply the signature to, it will pull in that information for each user from the directory. So now that we have our signature, our next step is to choose who it is going to apply to. So you can click this plus all button to apply it to everyone on the domain, or you can click each person individually. I'm just going to apply this one to myself for now. And we'll click continue. You can review the signature and who it's being applied to, and then you'll click schedule and apply. So I'm going to schedule this one to push out daily. I'll title it Guru. And it will push out at midnight, starting today. And then I can click Run Now and Save Schedule. And this signature will be applied to my email. So now if I go back into Gmail and I click Compose to create an email, you can see that signature that I just created has pulled in my name, my email address. I don't have a telephone and mobile number in the directory, so that's why those weren't pulled in. But as you can see, the entire signature is here with the image. And no matter who you apply it to on your domain, this will all be pulled in for them. It's a great way to add some standardization and branding to your domain. I hope you have found this to be helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.